It is our nature to be generous. And when we reveal our generosity into the world, we actually reveal our true spirit, which is the spirit of God, and therefore God walks on the earth. Ta-da! Be generous, and there is God walking on the face of the earth. It's not really all that complicated. We've made it incredibly complicated. We have made up rules about what it means to be a good, a sacred, a holy, a special person. We have made up rules, and we have punished people who have not followed those rules. We've made the reality of life and being a spiritual birth so much of a fantasy that we feel separated from the possibility of having a fulfilled life that it might happen sometime after we're done with this one. It's, this is not something we should have to try to do. We don't have to try to do it. We have to pour it out. It is our nature that needs to be poured out. Spirit is born every moment. In the beginning is the spirit born. It is not something that happened once. In the beginning was the word. When was that? And how come I, was I there? Did, did someone take notes? I mean, if it was written down then, I mean, did somebody change the interpretation? You better believe it. <laughs> you better believe that someone has taken the things that have happened in the past and made them into something that serves something other than what's holy. I'm really not up here to be critical of what I was taught. I have to name <clears throat> what I was taught so I can actually be free to speak the truth. Because when I name the boxes I've put myself in, I then have the power to open the doors in them. I don't know if you've had that experience, but there are times where I, I haven't even realized how much I was enclosed in my expression until I saw the pain of the limitation of my expression. I was not allowing myself to be fully myself because I believed this box was holy. And I had to have someone pointed out so I could step in or out into the, the truth of how life works, who I am, to, re to know that the expression of my generosity is my nature it does not need to be tempered. It does not need to be only for the people I like. It is my nature to be generous. And when I am, I know myself one more step closer to seeing the boxes that may have been limiting. There is a way generosity has been mis, um, misnamed as I'll give to you, you give to me. But when you come to the truth, that generosity is your nature. There is no lack ever and no concern because my generosity pours out and guess what comes next? My generosity. And what follows that? My generosity. What? And then my generosity. It really doesn't stop. It isn't a question of I'm generous, I receive. I'm generous, I receive. I'm generous, I'm generous, I am generous because it is my nature. Why would I be anything but generous to you? For you are mine. It is said in the Song of Solomon, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. Generosity to my beloved, which is in human form as well as vibrational form, is not only easy, it is the most natural thing for me to do.